Hello everybody, welcome back to some more modded into the Gungeon. Oh god, game for us. I, I'm I, at the minute. I have to I have to admit I'm a bit shook because Never Name just showed me a yeah. video that was it was horrendous. Pizza. <laughs> it was it, it was the crazy. worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Basically, it was um, a video of someone making a. Heavy quotation marks. Pizza. Um, no, it's a pizza. A pizza, sorry. He doesn't, know, he doesn't know how to spell pizza. He thinks it's with one Z. So, it's a pizza. <laughs> and, oh, fuck me, was it just the worst thing I've ever seen. So, no, let me... Listen carefully to his inflections and intonations. If you listen closely, you can hear that he's holding back tears and shaking <laughs> slightly. I am. Like, let me paint you a word picture. This man was making, oh god damn, what the fuck? We started with the cheese gun and the holy grail. For one, that's pretty cool, but god, like, because they're both holy, ha ha ha. But also, very good, god damn. Active, um, what the heck? Anyways, let's, let's give this run a go. Right, okay, so let me paint you a word picture here. This man wanted to make a pizza. So, first thing you do when you want to make a pizza is you either make or buy a pizza base. It's it's ironic that you got the cheese gun, because that's like the one thing you didn't put on the pizza. It, that is true. <laughs> um, oh, it does just work like this. That's cool. Oh, with, I've, got, with, I've got sunglasses as well. It's kind of cool to have this with sunglasses. Um, But anyways, so yeah, this this person, the, the it, they didn't want to buy a, uh, a base. They wanted to make their own. Um, does this just last forever? How long is this going to keep going? There's just so many bombs. Okay, there you go. It's finally over. Um, yeah, so he wanted to, um, wanted to make himself his own version. His own, um, his own duh. And most normal people would, uh, look up a recipe and, and make some, make some bread dough, make some pizza dough. This man had a different idea and, um, he started, bear in mind this is to make the dough, he started by roasting some beef for two hours for the dough. And then, once the beef was done, he blended it. He blended the beef into a fine slurry. Um, it's hurting to speak about, honestly. Um, <laughs> it's trauma. You're reliving old trauma. I am. It's important, it's important to go through this so that you can recover. And to then make this beef slurry into a dough, he mixes it with flour and water, which it sounds like some sort of World War I rationing tactic if beef was in plentiful supply or something. It sounds horrendous. Um... And yeah, so he makes he makes this basically flowery beef patty. Um that's just it just looks horrendous. It actually it actually looks like gone off dog food. And even Nevername said that he didn't even think he could feed it to a dog, it might just kill it. Uh which I would honestly heavily agree with. Um it it, it was quite horrendous. Um <laughs> And so you may be thinking, okay, well, the dough sounds pretty bad, but He's going to top it with some tomato sauce, a little bit of cheese, maybe a few pieces of that roast beef, maybe maybe um, some other meats or vegetables. No, 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 None of the above happens. He starts off by whipping out a pineapple. So a pineapple on pizza, I'm not a big fan of it, but it exists. It's fine. I, I don't have anything wrong with it, really. It's not it fine. Just... If you like pineapple on pizza, you can, like... Drown. <laughs> I don't like I've never really had it myself much and when I did I didn't really like it but if people like it eh whatever I don't really care uh, but anyways no, no no live and let live you can, you can get hit by a bus anyhow this man likes pineapple on his pizza so I'm like okay okay that's fair people, some people like that he then proceeds to cut the pineapple so so he, at this point he's already um he's already cut off the rind or the skin or whatever you want to call it most of it at least he, there is there is still quite a few little crunchy bits on the edges doubles all shop items a 50 percent chance to use double keys on chests doubles all shop items what does that mean does that mean when i purchase it i get two i don't know what that means also what the fuck's going on with my dps 
Uh, it's because this mod doesn't seem to understand how to, like, calculate the damage of a gun that has multiple uh, ah, okay. projectiles. Because, like, the elemental earth has yeah, yeah, yeah. multiple different types of cheese that do different damage, and it doesn't... I think it's supposed to cycle through them, but it just cycles through them way too fast. I don't think that's ever been fixed. No, that's true. Um... But yeah, uh, so he's, he's sliced up his pineapple. Like I said, some bits with a rind on, but he's he's basically just sliced it into like little segments. Um, and he hasn't cut out the middle of the pineapple. Do you know that really, really hard core that you can't eat? He's just left that in. He's kind of hacked and sawed his way through it and decided to just leave it. Um, and he's left on a good portion of the outside as well. Yeah, which is an interesting choice. Um... I'll open up the... Wait, um... Yeah, I'll open up this. Uh, yeah, and he's left little bits of the outside and all that sort of good jazz. Ooh, that's cool. Um, yeah. Overall, just just a pretty, pretty strange way of, of doing things. Um, and I'm like, okay, he's going to, like, cut them into these slices. Then he's going to cut those into smaller chunks and put them on the pizza. No, 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 no. He is going to put these whole fucking wedges, like the diameter of a pineapple-sized wedges that are about an inch thick. He's going to put... Look like you could, they look like you could slot them into a Nintendo DS and play a game on them. Yeah, they, they were a bit insane. Um, and he has, like, maybe, like, six of these on his pizza. Um, and he's just basically the entire surface of this quote-unquote dough. Is covered in these things. Bear in mind, there's also no sauce underneath this. Um, and then I was like, okay, this is bad. This is awful. But it probably can't get much worse. This is, has to be the worst of it. No, no, See, no, this no, is no. why. This is it, why I like showing Luke this stuff because he always underestimates how bad it can get. <laughs> yeah, I do. 100%. Um, I'm like, okay, it can't get much worse than this. So then he whips out some garlic, and I'm like, okay. I, based on how this video is going so far, I have a feeling he is going to do one of two things. He's either going to put an astronomically large amount of garlic onto this pizza, or he's going to, like, just sit a clove in the middle of something. But no, he's like, okay, I'm going to peel the garlic. I'm, like, surprised, but okay. But no, what he means by that isn't that he'll peel the garlic. It's that he means he will peel the outermost layer off of the garlic bulb. And then each actual clove is not peeled at all and placed in a pattern around the pizza in between the bits of pineapple. So, yeah, just whole like chunks of garlic. Yeah. Ooh, crown bullets. They sound cool. I want them. Cult of the Lamb record. Yes. I want them. Where's I can't the afford them. Where's Cult of the Lamb? Where's Cult of the Lamb, Turtle? It died. Is it? it died. People stopped watching it. It got, it got sacrificed. I did. This, this, room, this room almost looked like an Among Us, too. What? It, your brain is broken, my guy. Stop posting about Among Us. <laughs> So, yeah, this th at this point, he has made... Let, let's just, just just do a quick recap here. At this point, he has made essentially just a, a sort of liquidy, floury beef soup as the base, which is, is, is not very solid at all. It looks very much liquidy. As he pushes the pineapple onto it, it kind of slopes into it as if it's some sort of quicksand. Um... So that's what we've got there. Oh god, this is this is not good. Uh, that's that's kind of what we've got there. Um, and then obviously we've got the absolutely astronomically large wedges of uh, of pineapple. And then we've got just whole cloves completely still in their skin, surrounding the entire thing. And that's it. That's done, pretty much. No, but no no, 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 no. He does he does have one finishing touch. That's the pizza. But he's got one finishing touch. Ah. Finally, some cheese, maybe. Something that actually belongs on no, a pizza. You've got, you got the tomatoes. Oh, true, true, true. He did He did actually put some tomatoes on it. He basically just sliced cherry tomatoes in half and dotted them around the pizza. Some of them are actually not even sitting on the base. Some of them just on the plate next to next to the pizza. And he seemed to assume they were on the pizza. Um, this man will have to eat that pizza with a knife and fork. 
You'll have to eat it with a spoon. <laughs> it was... Oh, God. Um, so, the, what's the smartest one? Uh, you're like, okay, he, he, it, it seems done. It seems done. As done as whatever that could be. Um, and he finishes it off nicely um, by taking some of the beef. <coughs> Maybe putting some slices of the beef on. No, 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 no. He whips out the grater and he grates the beef. He grates the beef over the pizza. And then that's it. That 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 is his pizza. At the time, but isn't like grated beef gonna like burn really easily? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't melt, so <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. I love it. Yeah, it's 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 pretty horrific. Okay. Oh, and then I watched showed him Kay making like butchering some eggs. And we had like a good good time. Oh what? Each segment counts as a different thing, so I lose my streak. Oh. Sorry. Emoconda's code is like dookie. I didn't realize that. Fuck this fucking snake. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, did you uh, hear about the news that scientists have apparently uh, only recently found the snake clitoris? Yeah, I saw that on Reddit. You saw the snake clitoris? I did, <laughs> no. I saw the article about it. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Who was looking for it? Hopefully one day they find the human clitoris. Hopefully. <laughs> Luke is a Luke is an enjoyer of the the snussy. <laughs> the what? The snussy. I hear everything that you choose to be. The snitterous. What the hell is this fur? Seems to jam the enemy the the first hit and then kill them with the second. Oh. Here's the description. I think this is it. Violence. A fiddle won from uh, Lord of the Jammed himself. The fiddle holds great holy power and will quell the hatred of the Jammed. So I guess it insta kills jammed enemies and jams non jammed enemies. It sounds decent if it wasn't a bow. Solid. That's, that's a solid. Uh, that's... that's not so solid. That's the trash cannon. Ah, uh, right, right. Um, I'm not sure what to do, because I really, 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 really want to see what this does. It also is costs more now. Little... Is the clip just little penises? Yeah. So I'm gonna just right. do a quick little give casing. Like you're shooting. You're, oh. you're shooting the snake clitoris. I am. I just want to see what this does. It seems cool. I know. Cheat. I know this is cheating, but I don't care. You never care. Bullets possess the gun dead. Survivors can be indoctrinated to become companions permanently or almost. These bullets come from mysterious and elusive cult of the Blam. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. I'm intrigued. I got trick shot again. These things again. So what does trick shot actually do? I only read that they bounce. So that's pretty much it. Adds five bounces yeah. and a bit of projectile speed to the player's shots. Decreases base damage slightly, but each bounce increases its damage. Okay, they seem pretty good. Yeah, damage down, ricocheting the shot, uh, increases its damage. The real animation for this is very cool. Yeah, uh, it's a... Uh... Devil went down to Georgia. I like it. It's cool. Right. Devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was willing to make a deal. Came upon a young man sawing on a fiddle and playing it hot. Devil jumped up on a hickory stump and said, boy, let me tell you what. You gotta get me content ID'd again, boy. I, I, shut up. I'm not, I don't sing well enough to get you content ID'd. <laughs> 
one day it's going to happen. If, if, like, you could get content ID for something sounding vaguely like a song, you'd get content ID for Skrillex every time the game glitched out and there was an audio <laughs> track on repeat. That's fair. Infestation curse. I love the noise this thing makes. <laughs> It's just when it doesn't play a song. That'd be kind of interesting, yeah. Do oh, wait. The thing with playing song. This does get bigger the longer you charge it, okay. Yeah, you just weren't charging it very long. It was, it's the, uh. The it's Samus. the heroin, isn't it? He the heroin, yes. The, I was trying to remember what it's called, the Samus thing. The salmon thing? Samus. Salmon thing. Samus. Salmon. Samus Aran. Ooh, this gun's pretty fun with all the bouncy. I like this. It makes a horrible noise, but I'm gonna stick with it. It's the, uh... What the hell is it the other thing that's shooting? Some sort oh, of purple. Yeah, purple. It's purple. the purple. That shitty gun. That isn't good. I thought the purple was infinite ammo. It's not. Ah, oh, okay. It, evidently, it's not. Fuck. Damn it, that might have worked if it. No, I think that's a hit an enemy, doesn't it, actually? Yeah. I got the icebreaker attached to this thing. Oh. Nice. Oh my god. How much curse do I have? On nine point five, shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're in trouble. When did I get to nine point five? What about I, I just took 3.5 from that mirror, but what else did I take? Holy, holy shit. Uh, I took the uh, the lamb item, which doesn't seem to have done anything yet, that I can tell. I haven't noticed anything join my side, but maybe I'm doing it wrong? Yeah, that sounds about right. Let me reread it again to make sure I'm not completely wasting its opportunity. It seems like a cool item. Um, bullets possess the gun dead. Okay, it just says bullets possess. Okay. Keep trying. Kick it. Can you kick it? Yes, you can. Part of me wants to, like, do uh, musical guns. Like, the base game has musical guns. Yeah. But the problem with that is, is obtaining music that I can use. True. I'm really liking this with slow mo. It's very enjoyable, very satisfying. The thing with the, uh, I, I had to slow down the arc weapons dissipate, and I'm looking into ways to speed it up again. Because uh, when I improved the visual effects, I was I then constrained by the game oh, being trash. Ah, unfortunate. They tried to kill each other. Crown of War. What? Shit. <laughs> All chests will drop guns instead of items. Nuclear throne reference. Also, what was that about shop items being doubled? Why did I get... Oh, because I got the lowercase r as well, I see. Which seems to so have just like duped it to itself. How impressive. I'm gonna die. Open up my eyes, I'm gonna die. Yeah, why'd you do this? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I didn't mean to. I think you're a bit of a psychopath, you know that? 
you've said that on multiple occasions recently. The most recent time yeah, was because I... I told him that I like having syrup with my bacon. Not all the time, yeah, but like sometimes. Yeah, he's a fucking sometimes. psychopath. I love that, it's he amazing. Kills, he kills people and he keeps them in his basement, he's like German. True. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm definitely gonna die. He's, 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 he's gonna grind people up like Germa grinds people up and he's gonna mix them with flour. Put pineapple on them. Blend them. Put them in flour. Yes. Put some pineapple on top. And you, you, should, you should gotta have like a spare leg to grate on top to finish. Yeah. Fuck. I'm so nearly dead. You're not very good at this game. Ah, <sighs> I know. I realize that I'm like I'm like the, the voice of doubt. I'm just Wow, everything that you could ever possibly be insecure about. Yeah, that's that's about right, yeah. Go again? <sighs> I guess. Well, we could clock out early and watch Kay do lasagna. Hmm. Hmm. Now that is a tempting offer. Um, let's go. Let's let's go do a boss rush real quick, so the episode isn't super short. And then we'll go and watch another Kay's video. And then maybe if I've got time, we'll do a nuclear throne video. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, I get to ramble more incoherently about stuff. Yeah. And I get to have more videos prepped for Christmas too, which is always useful. Yeah, it's my Christmas gift to you. Making this <laughs> shit. Making shit. My Christmas gift to you is bullying you <laughs> in the festive spirit. What a great gift. If I if only I could actually get back to the main menu. Thank you. It's oh. beginning to look a lot like fishmen. Fishmen? Everywhere I go. From the minute I got to town and started to look around. <sighs> I thought these ill-bred people's gill slits showed. It's beginning to look a lot like fishmen. Especially in the breach. Right outside my door. As I try to escape in fright. To the moonlit Innsmouth night, I can hear some oh. At first I thought you were making this up, but now I don't think you are. It's a, it's a real uh, parody song. It's very good. It's uh, Lovecraft themed, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Themed around the story, A Shadow Over Innsmouth. It's beginning to look a lot like Fishmen. <laughs> Beautiful Fishmen. Hey, we can get that dog. crown back. We could no, also that's get... a different crown. What? It's the same crown. Yeah, but it's a gun. This is a gun? Yes. The ones on cardinal directions are guns. What the fuck? What the hell? I, I remember did not this know that. Show, showed this off. Notice how it like sits above your head, but actually like moves into position when you fire it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That must have taken so much work. It looks really it's cool. It's very impressive. I think it has a bunch of synergies too to like match the. Uh, yeah, I was about to say I do. Want, I was gonna say I wonder if it can transform into the other weapon types. Like, looks like a pretty good weapon so far. I'm liking it. I don't like the way the. I don't like the way the gun barrel just slides out of the crown like a snake clitoris. <laughs> Goddamn. Oh, also, did you see the thing about uh, fusion energy? I did not. Basically, we've... Uh, do you know what fusion energy is? It's nuclear, isn't it? Yes. But, like, there's multiple different types of nuclear. There's nuclear fusion and nuclear fission. I'll be honest, I don't really know the difference between the two. I once did, but I've forgotten. Uh, fission is where you break the nucleus apart. 
fusion is where you take uh, multiple nuclei and smush them together into a bigger one. Nice. And both release a lot of energy. Uh, and we've had fission for a long time, and we've technically been able we've, we've been able to create fusion, but not in like a useful way. Yeah. Not in a way that can harness because, energy from. Yeah. Because we haven't been able to achieve fusion ignition in like a control in a controlled environment. It won't create a black hole and destroy the air. Yeah. That's not actually what would happen. No. But, but it would it'd be bad. I like how I like how when uh things don't make sense, when people don't know what something is, but it's like they're talking about atoms. It's gonna be a black hole. Because, like, it, that doesn't make any it fucking sense. It doesn't all, no. <laughs> Like, with the, the the Large Hadron Collider, with people who are scared about black holes, it's like, you have no fucking idea what this machine does, do you? I feel like, considering like, at the time, like, when it was first sort of being made, yeah, very few people knew what the fuck it was. <laughs> I feel like that's fair. So, like, it could create a black hole. How? Well, it does science, and that's, that could, uh, there's devils in them particles. Like, oh, I'm disappointed. You have no one but yourself to blame. This gun is insane. Insane in this mode, but I don't have it leveled up, so it's not as insane as it should be. But yeah, like, even if the Large Hadron Collider made a black hole, it would be like, instantly destroyed because like black holes aren't like actually that scary like they're kind of scary but they're not really that dangerous because if if you've created a black hole that's tiny on the level of particles it's like i think people assume that, that if you create a small black hole it'll suck small things in and grow kind of like Katamari Damacy, whatever the fuck that game's called. What's it called? Uh, Dude, you know the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like people assume it's going to be like that, where it'll just like suck in the, the small things near it see, and grow the, and then the, keep going. The Katamari, the Katamari analogy. Uh, now I'm just thinking of the black hole rolling around like a big Katamari ball. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, I, it, it bothers me how people just assume, scary science, gonna be a black hole, gonna kill us. <laughs> Don't create a vaccine for this, it'll create a black hole in our blood. Like, that's the next conspiracy. They're putting little black holes in children's blood to <laughs> suck out all their energy and give it to the devil. That's what vaccines do. That's what they've always been doing. Yeah. They put tiny little bits of, of devil in the in the vaccines. Little devils. Just to clarify that we're joking before YouTube automated system picks up on this and bans <laughs> turtle vaccine misinformation. Um. So, what was I saying? I'm scared and lost. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We've we've achieved uh, fusion energy. It's not in a usable state currently. We basically, we caused a reaction that released like a net positive energy. Mm. We still had to expend more energy to start the reaction, so it's not viable. It doesn't, it doesn't create like, anything, yeah. Practically speaking, you can't create energy, but yeah. yeah, and, yeah. For, you know what I mean. for human purposes, it, it doesn't create enough, yes. So, like, but the fact that we've achieved that reaction at all is huge. It's been, like, the focus of a huge amount of research for the past decades.
and it you're about needs, to pop it, off. It needs to be treated as the cool thing that it is. Hmm. Will this appeal to you? Isn't that that plate that insta-killed you once? I think so. Uh, I'll take this. Targeting specs. While active, grants the user a plethora of attack stat bonuses such as damage fight. Ooh, fuck yes. That is exactly what I want to see. Oh. So it's basically like active elite bullets. Yeah. It lasts a good amount it's of time. Because elite bullets is crazy. crazy. Elite bullets is crazy, man. It's crazy, man. Also, did you hear they created a vaccine for fentanyl? For what? Fentanyl. Was there not one already? Fentanyl is a ma uh, man-made pharmaceutical. Uh, for what? I have no idea what fentanyl is, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's a drug. It's a man-made pharmaceutical. That's that's a drug. Well, I know that, but I mean, I don't, I don't know what it's used for, is what I'm saying. Drugs. It's just used for drugs. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like a, it's like how opium was like, and it still is medical, technically, but uh, it's when you think opium, you don't think, ah, oh, hospitals, think, ah, oh, street corners. <laughs> yeah, fair. Fentanyl is kind of the same way. And it, it's uh, one of those things that's incredibly fucking dangerous in the wrong amounts. Uh... But people mix it with like cocaine oh, and course, shit, yeah. and like sell. This is cocaine, but secretly it's like forty percent fentanyl, and you'll fucking die. Uh, Standard stuff. It's such a big problem that people have created. This is just what I heard, but they've, they've created something because obviously it's not going to be a typical, a traditional vaccine. Yeah. Because it's because fentanyl isn't a virus or a disease, but. They created something analogous to a vaccine for the drug I, fentanyl. Just, just hold on a sec. I have two curse. Why is this guy jammed? Um, you're just that cool. confused. Maybe it's something to do with the crown. Maybe it's something to do with boss rush. I don't know. Oh my god, it's... Oh, take out the crown, take out the crown. Empty. Oh my god, it's Cult of the Lamb, Lamb versus Cult of the Lamb, Calamar. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh god. I was about to say, like, go close, get the picture, and that just made me think of the fucking Pisa pushes. Pisa pushes. Yeah, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh, uh, right, yeah, yeah, you, Have you seen those pictures yes. of people? Yes, uh, of course I have. The the lines of people all doing the, the my fa My favourite video is, like, where someone goes there and obviously there's a bunch of people doing the whole, like, the, the Pisa push, and he just keeps high-fiving them all <laughs> while they're trying to take their photos because they've got their hands up at the perfect position for it. <laughs> That's brilliant. The Pisa pushes is such a desperate phenomenon. Like it's kind of it's kind of wholesome because it's a bunch of like boomers who have retired and they're like, "I'm gonna go to Italy," <laughs> uh, and they're like, "This is the best thing they've ever done," and they think they're so funny and they think nobody's ever done this before. <laughs> and then you get there and there's like fucking sixty other people all doing the exact same thing. But at the same time, why couldn't you just be satisfied with Bingo Night? Why'd you have to go to why'd you have to go to Italy? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What have we got here? Gun say it was from crown. What the big gun say it was from? Knife to a gunfight. I want. I want an item. I want an item. What's, what's this worm do? Uh, it's a gun. 
that spews bullets. Uh, it vomits, and it's a beam that vomits up bullets at the end. What does this do? You should take it. It's, you should take it. It's funny. You should take the worm. Okay. Oh my god, it is funny. <laughs> it's quite good, I like it. I love him. <laughs> it's got so much ammo, god damn. Well, see, usually it doesn't like home in, and most of the bullets don't hit and stuff. Uh, yeah. So it's usually not as powerful, and it's high tier, so. Look at, look at what you're doing to him, this poor man. Oh, I love how the end, like, stretches when you waggle it around, so you can just see his terrified face. <laughs> Elongate. Yeah. With Hermie, it looks like it's vacuuming up all of the poison bits. Yeah. Do, do, the, do the twirl. Do the worm twirl. Look at his face at the end. <laughs> as, you, as you spin it faster. You just get glimpses of his horribly <laughs> elongated face. That's hilarious. I love it. I love this gun so much. I'm so glad I made it. It's pretty hilarious. It's so, like, unassuming for what it does, like, when you look at the sprite. You wouldn't think that's what it does at all. you think it just, like, spews out a little bit of poison or something. This was, uh, going back from when I was experimenting with beams and funky stuff I can do with beams. Yeah. That's quite a funky beam. I should get back into that. There's a lot that I still haven't done with beams that would be funky. Tree. An oddments item, so it's a gamble. Tree. Rejuvenation rack. Ah, oh, ball sacks. That's very good, but fucking useless right now. Isn't that just a better antibody? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's just... I, I, thought, I thought better of you, June. <laughs> to create something so... derivative. Pushes up glasses. In asterisks. <laughs> this worm has been very enjoyable. I like the way the scream sounds so much better when you're spinning it. <laughs> oh. It sounds like it has Doppler effect. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just like, as he spins around you. <laughs> God, I wish I could do that to a real person. Just spin them around really fast. <laughs> Anyhow, here we are with the glitched fucking end screen again. Either way, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, we'll see you guys soon, I guess. We're going to go watch some horrible cooking videos, and I'm going to cringe like crazy. Right. Bye-bye.